The idea of enemy radar um, and, and BBC introducing and getting together, it just makes perfect sense. It's something we've been chatting about a while, for a while and whenever I'd seen Hugh out, it's something we'd mentioned. And I think really, when it comes to tipping new bands for, for the next year, which loads of places now do, a lot of them already have big labels behind them, you know, big marketing budgets, so it's very, it's all become self, quite self-fulfilling that, you know, a band's uh, been tipped to do well and therefore it's got all the money behind it and it will do well. And we thought it was really important to pick some bands that actually didn't have that and were much more grassroots and sit at a stage where um, they had real uh, dedicated um, fan bases, but actually no big label investment behind them and I think that's what we, so the, so the so when we when we picked tribes it was really important to us that they, they weren't signed yet and that we that actually by bringing them into Maida Vale we could really help them up that that next rung of the ladder you should have started hearing that in your headphones now is that are you hearing it yeah excellent okay um let's have some single hits on your floor Tom please Yeah, oh, the big man. Awesome. Sweet. Yeah, it's great. It's pretty nice. awe inspiring. Sweet. Like walking back in the 60s, doesn't it? You feel like sort of uh, on set with Les Edmond or something. <laughs> you can imagine making Keith walking through the door. Yeah. <laughs> Mick, where's my tea? <laughs> <laughs> it's bigger. It's much bigger. Like, I haven't even seen a picture of it, so I just had no idea what to expect. But yeah, it is, it is, I mean, it is like stepping back in time, isn't it? It's like, apparently the walls, nothing's been touched since like, late 60s. It's nice to make a little tribe stamp on the place. started playing gigs around Camden uh, and then we get the same people coming to our gigs and we've got a little following. We didn't want to do the MySpace thing really. Didn't want to do it like all online and like just having you know a thousand friends on MySpace doesn't mean that you, your gigs are going to be busy. So we wanted to do it like yeah it's, it's kind of old school but to us it was just the only way to do it. You just seem natural. Yeah. 